All right, so now let's talk about note mode. I'm going to go ahead and click over on into note mode. Actually, before I do that, let me just make sure I'm on a I'm on a plugin that's going to have some decent uh, sound to it, as opposed to let's say a drum kit, right? So now we're in note mode, and in note mode, what you see is every line in the work. Remember, we're talking about the work area. This is your macro grid, right? This is your work area. So every line in this work area is an octave that goes from lowest to highest, moving up. Like that. Okay. You can set the base octave by using the uh, blue keys here. That's pretty low. And then everything's built above based off this one. Okay. Um, you are, this is a currently what's called a chromatic scale, which is all 12 notes of a, of a, of a, of an octave. And it's laid out in a roughly black and white. I mean, you could see the difference in color. So the darker uh, pads would represent the black key. So you've got your C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. You could play chords if you wanted to. Um, but that's just your basic input, right? I, I would recommend you use a regular MIDI keyboard. I think it's easier, but it the, the, the feature is there, I guess you would say. I don't know that I would use this feature that much. However, you can load in harmonic scales to, quote, remove the bad notes. To do that, you'd use the green navigation here. This will go up and down through the list. When I hit it once on the screen here, it's telling me all I need to know. C4 Ionian slash major. That means I'm in C4. All the blues are, are, are the C's, are the root key. If this was, a, if I was in a root of D, these would represent the D key. But we're in C4, and then it's telling me on the screen, Ionian major. So I know I'm in a major scale. I can navigate through, uh, I'm sorry, just uh, let's see, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian slash minor, uh, and then Locrian. And then there are some pentatonic modes, major penta and minor penta, and then back to chromatic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on um, uh, minor for now. Um, but these are now removing all the keys. So instead of being 12 long, they're really only seven notes long. Plus the next octave, right? Uh, and since I couldn't finish on these, on this side, another octave, I chose to just give you like a, a duplicate key. So this is the same note as that and consequently is the same as okay so it just runs across and the reason why I think it's okay is you can actually build your chords very easily by running across instead of having to go uh, you know and, and understand how it wraps back around but you should know how it's laid out so you're basically getting four octaves here again. Um, you can change your root note. We're currently in uh, C. Let me go to G. So now we're in a G Aeolian or, or G minor. And we can do what we need to do. Now, now that we've got a scale locked in, we can actually use another feature, which is called the chord bar. And so in the chord bar, we, we click this first round button. It turns on and off what I call the chord bar. In this chord bar, you now have access to uh, your seven uh, chords. So you may have heard or seen music theory videos where they call a, uh, the root chord the one chord to the five chord to the two chord or whatever. You can play them here just by where they are on the bar. The one chord. This highlights the notes 
that are being played. Now, I, remember I told you these are just mirror images of, of above. So even though they're lit, only the three notes are playing. It's just showing you which notes are being played. Right? So there's your four, there's your five. And you have that. In addition to playing standard chords, it's showing you here the chord that's being played. G minor, A diminished, A sharp, etc. That's all being displayed here. If you, if you turn on the yellow pad there, you'll now add a seventh to your chord. Um, if you, the next four buttons on the chord bar there, uh, actually that'll give you a first inversion chord, that'll give you a second inversion, and, and it'll it'll show you how it's playing it. And the last one does nothing. First one is regular, first inversion, second inversion. And we'll, we'll turn off the uh, sevenths. So that's your chord bar. And the way I envision, or the way I actually use this, is, you know, you just load up a piano or something that you want to use and you come up with some chords I don't know I'm not going to do it now uh, for you guys but this is how you would do it um, or could do it with this device so you've got chord integration scale integration um, if we use if we go through the nav menus here uh, we can see this is a similar menu that we saw in the first one, which gives us access to the channel. Again, I can bring up the channel or the piano roll. I can navigate through the various snap settings and presets. Uh, I can grid this over to the up, down, left, right. So again, depending on what window I'm in, I can navigate up, down, left, right. Uh, and then this is the one that has the, uh, the mode for the scale, note, and octave specific settings. Okay, so that is note mode.